today I'm going to pick up another favorite of mine, which are power strips. In this case, we have the common ordinary power strip. Um, this set actually came from Walmart, but everybody sells some sort of cheap unit um, that has quote unquote surge protection. First and foremost, it's really important to understand the difference between a surge and a lightning strike. Surges occur on the hot, lightning occurs on the ground. These type of units with surge protection will have a 37 cent MOV part to dump excess current coming in on a surge between the hot and the neutral. Lightning will come in on the ground. So if I were to take this apart, what you would find is that the grounds are all connected together to the ground on the power cord. Lightning has an easy, quick strike. If you're gonna to try to protect what you own against lightning, your best defense is unplugging and preferably moving that plug away from the outlet by two or three feet so you don't have a jump or an arc. Um, the other problem with these sort of inexpensive um, unit strips is that they don't have real electrical sockets in them. Oftentimes what they merely have is a bus bar, single piece of metal that comes down one side, a single piece that comes down another, and a third that comes down the center, and then these are soldered to the power cord. So you really don't get a, pot, a real solid positive connection with them at all. If you do, you may get it one or two times. Um, devices like these are really a convenience for you. Um, they're meant for temporary use. They're not really meant for long term, and they're certainly not meant for any sort of hi-fi uh, or video use. And um, But if you want to plug lamps into them or things like that, low drawing current, it's fine, okay? Now, the other thing that's often you see on them is this $50,000 coverage. And they make all sorts of claims about that. Well, let me tell you, um, number one, you better have your sales receipt to prove that you actually bought the thing for starters. Um, and then you better be able to prove that the surge actually damaged your equipment and it wasn't lightning because they're two different things. So this is kind of a bait of misunderstanding between what is a surge and what is a lightning strike. So again, enjoy uh, my blog on our website. Take a look at it. I cover different items on that. But uh, if you need to buy some sort of power center and such, take the time, go to a good audio shop, buy yourself a real power strip. Don't go to Walmart or a little hardware store and buy one of these little things, unless it's just simply gonna be temporary for a week or two. Because if you experience, you know, expect any performance out of these things, well, guess what? That little cheap MOV throws all sorts of noise into your electric. So your system's gonna want it something like crap anyway. So just do it temporary. That's acceptable, but not long-term, please. Thanks.